Up and trotting, Manol is blasting off on the outside with Dexter Dunn. Sharp early speed from her. Fashion Schooner just floated away with Raised by Lindy on the rail, cutting the corner on her into the first turn. Delilah Hanover is fourth. And then it's Peyton Hanover on the inside, fifth, and bold and beautiful. Manon's going to take the lead. Manon raised by Lindy. Both of those off the dead heat victory together with Fashion Schooner now swings to the outside from third off a 26 and two opener. Those three fillies have opened up by four on Delilah Hanover, fourth on the inside. Another three and a half, four back to Peyton Hanover and bold and beautiful as they speed across the back stretch. Fashion Schooner takes the lead with Tietrick. So it's Fashion Scooter now, establishes command, it takes control, Manol second, and raised by Lindy third, the pace slowing now, Delilah Hanover fourth on the inside, and Peyton Hanover, and bold and beautiful, they hit the half in 54 seconds. Fashion Schooner at even money controls it, and takes them into the far turn on top with Manol and Dexter Dunn in that two hole. It's raised by Lindy, biding her time in third position now with three eights to go. Delilah Hanover is still on the cones in fourth, followed by Peyton Hanover fifth and bold and beautiful, no changes. They head by three quarters and chase Fashion Schooner. The ball's in her court now. Mano edges out of the pocket spot. Delilah Hanover gears up third on the outside, raised by Lindy on the inside, fourth dropping back. 122 and four into the stretch drive. Fashion Schooner in front by two under some whip tap urging. Fashion Schooner. Mano on the outside had a perfect trip and comes at her and revs up Delilah Hanover on the outside with late trot. It is Mano trying to get to Fashion Schooner who digs in. Fashion Schooner out sprinting her. Fashion Schooner holds on. Then Mano, Delilah Hanover, and Peyton Hanover. 150 and one. The Phillies are off and trotting. Joviality on the outside, out fast. Miss Walner Fashion shoots out, so does Venerable from the inside. But Joviality crosses over right away and easily for Brian Sears. Takes charge here over Venerable, settles in the second spot, and Selfie Queen got away in third position. And Brickhouse Babe is gapped in fourth early to the opening quarter. Then Miss Walner Fashion followed by Little Bit Alexis and Date Night the trailer. So it's Joe Viality and Brian Sears grabs in 26 and four. Joe Viality to pave the way across the back stretch. Venerable trots in second out. Selfie Queen tracking along in third position and Brickhouse Babe fourth on the inside. Then Miss Walner Fashion followed by Lil Bit Alexis and Date Night and no changes, no right lines. It's Joe Viality here at one to five in full control and getting a breather. Venerable a two hole ride. Selfie Queen on the helmet third. A Brickhouse Babe is uh, jammed up a bit in fourth there. Then Miss Walner Fashion uh, followed by a little bit of Lexus and Date Night. The half was just 56 seconds. Onto the far turn, Joe Viality by a length and a half. It's Joe Viality and Venerable second. Big three wide sweep, little bit of Lexus now bursting on the scene. Now second already there and uh, looking to ratchet up some pressure on Joe Viality, but she steps out. Little bit of Lexus on the outside stride. First ride with Venerable as the pace picks up. Brickhouse Babe spinning her wheels to her inside selfie queen. 124 and one for three quarters. Miss Walner fashion broke. They turn for home in the stretch. It's Joviality. Venerable looking for an upset on the outside and has dead aim. Joviality put to the test here. Joviality. Venerable, these two fillies slug it out to the wire and a brilliant sprint. Joviality. Joviality. We're happy for Joviality. Then Venerable second, a very solid second. Then Selfie Queen and Date Night. Joviality in 150 and 2.